hello guys welcome back to jobs and migration tv today i'm going to be talking about vocational training in new zealand okay if you have been watching my video i talk a lot about vocational training if you are planning or having that mindset of traveling to any country at all the best way to use is through vocational education because people are not taking that part so seriously so I will advise you because people are not taking it seriously you also have to take it serious because most people they are focusing on jobs university and all of that that's why you see most of times visas are being declined because they don't because of the population the competition is too much so if you are planning or relocating to any country at all please do well to apply for a vocational training what is a vocational training if you have been watching my video i talk a lot about vocational education vocational education is hands on job training that is to be as you are learning uh, it's like a apprenticeship job okay and the good part is you will be paid as you are learning you will be they will be paying you as you are working okay it's not free you are not working for free month end you are going to receive your own salary with good part of this vocational training is that if let's say for instance your vocational training is two years which means your experience is two years already you don't need to start finish your education and carrying files up and down start looking for a job no vocational training is they are training the practical aspect of your job and most of the times your employers are the one that is training you immediately as you finish your job they are going to employ you directly okay whether you want to get ahead in your job or find a new one vocational training can fit around your life and let you learn at your pace okay vocational training is the best pathway which you can use to migrate to any country at all you learn on the job and the you get paid for it you are not doing a free work it's not like university where they are teaching the theoretical part of your job a vocational training is they are teaching you the practical aspect because you know in school there is two aspects there is theory and there is practical the practical aspect that is what vocational training is all about they are teaching you this is how to do it you learn on this is what you know uh, this is how to do this job if you have your vocational training is two years which means your experience is two years already okay he said learn why you work learn on the job get paid and get qualified as you go there are a lot of training programs that are free okay learn on campus if you like the idea of in of traditional learning but also wants a hands-on experience our campus based programs okay may be right for you learn online from anywhere learn where and where it suits you with fully online or distance learning program i will advise you please do not use online okay but if that is convenient for you it's okay but the best pathway is learn there they can easily give you a work permit because as you it's a work it's a job it's an apprenticeship job it's not studying okay although it's a vocational school but it is job is you are working as you are working you are studying you are working for your employer at the end of the month they are going to pay you that's why i call it it's job it's not really a vocation it's not really a school okay so while learning don't worry i will be showing you how you can apply for it if you want to search for an employer i will show you how you can search for an employer and also there's also a scholarship that is always or uh, that is also going on as well okay let's say for instance you want to apply let me not waste too much of your time you can come here to this search bar here you click let's say for instance which industry are you interested in let's say for instance you are looking for a caregiver job for instance you can simply type caregiver for instance i just click caregivers okay 
for all. Let's go to healthcare. A new one. Okay. Let's see. You apply for a job. Okay. It's like you are applying for a job but in school. People who don't know about this particular uh, pathway. They don't really know. That is the truth. I will advise you take it very seriously. How would you want to learn like I told you before? I will advise you take this campus. This is the only way that it will be. You learn what you really want to learn, okay? And uh, sorry, I did not say campus on the job, <laughs> okay? Take this on the job. He said on campus, I want to learn in class and make connections. Kaliwale connection on the job. I want to be trained where I work. Learn like uh, uh, like an apprenticeship. Like I told you, is the best pathway you can ever think of. Okay, online. I want to learn from home and with home online classes. Kashala, Kaliwale, focus on this one job. This is the only way you can be able to be proud of. Oh, I have a vocational training certificate. Okay, they are going to also award you a certificate. It's not only about uh, training training. You know. Let's say for instance, like I told you on the job, I'm giving this option as the best option on the job. Okay, then you come what is next for you. If you can check it now, here also change as well. You understand? So what next? What is next for you? You come here. Get employed. Find programs for once I'm employed. I'm employed. Get an advice or to arrange training with your employer. Study part time while at work. No gas study, but a good balance is possible. Say, get employed. Find programs once I'm employed. Which one are you interested in? Is it study part time while at work? Or you want to get employed? Or you are employed already? Which one is your choice? Let's say, for instance, you want to study part time while you are working you can simply click okay which one where do you want to learn choose my location let me choose I'll come here okay that's okay let me choose come to let me choose where do you want where are you interested in is it Auckland is it Bay of Plenty is it Ka let's say for instance there are different different cities uh, in New Zealand let's say for instance you are looking for uh, which region do you want to learn in let's say for instance it's Auckland you can simply click Auckland let's see the job that is available as you can see 42 results still out for you 82 total which one do you want okay don't forget about our job that we search any job at all you can be able to also search for it okay Let's say for instance, this one is in Auckland. All these are the shops that are there. You can simply come here. You can search for any of them. This one is in Auckland. So you can see certificate in well-being, strength in health care assistant and support work. It's in Auckland level theory. There are different different ones here, okay? Different different. Don't worry guys, I'll be leaving the link of this website in the description box below, okay? Please do where to check it out. You come here, you check which one you're interested in. Okay, let's take for instance, let's just take this for this sake of this video. You can click on it. New Zealand certificate in health and well-being strings in health care assistant and support work. So it's for health care assistant and support worker. Okay, as you can see. They study health and well-being are you passionate about caring for or helping other people then career as a health care assistant or a support worker may be for you this certificate will prepare you to work in the health and well-being okay so this dynamic program will ensure you are fully equipped with the skills and knowledge to work effectively within a variety of healthcare organization and community settings as a proficient healthcare assistant or a support worker okay he said this will are very rewarding and enable you to give back our community and provide help to those who need it 
while providing a career for your life okay he said you will get the opportunity to learn develop and practice hands on clinical such as vital science bed making bed bathing showering maintaining horror hygienist and assisting people with meals okay they are different as you can see what next throughout the course there is a strong emphasis on communication and observation skills this as these are an essential skills required of a healthcare assistant or a support worker so this program includes a minimum of 100 hours of work experience this takes place after the completion of the theory in the final weeks of program you will undertake a placement in either a hospital or residential care facility to cons consolidate your learning clinical skills and knowledge okay let's say for instance if you want to apply you can simply go to their website but let's see about this first you can simply come here let's know more about it okay he said we will send you your inquiry we will send your inquiry and get an advice how to contact you shortly if you know you want to know more about the program you can simply just enter your name your last name your email your phone number the questions that you have regarding the program then you click next definitely they will get back to you but if no you just want to apply you can simply come to their website and then you click apply okay come to their website and apply for it it's as simple as that okay please guys please do it to like this video if you have any question or contribution please do it to leave it in the comment section below okay if you have problem during your applications let me know as well i'm going to assist you okay as you can see it's a duration and study method guys before i start before i continue if you are looking for a way to book your flight to any country at all please do wait to contact us okay we are booking uh flights right now and also we can be able to handle your visas to any country at all if you know you want to go to any country you don't know how to apply for visa we can handle it for you okay this is it guys okay this is it as you can see this is everything that you need to know as you can see this one right now i said not available to international students okay i will advise you check take your time search for because i can't deceive you or anything no take your time search for all all of them fees are also included okay it's not free of charge this one is not free but you will be paid as you are working okay you will be paid as you are working please do well to go through all of them there are different different jobs there search for the ones that is available to international students ok 